It's a small town, a lot of country, so there's a lot of farm. Everything's just like laid back. It's, it's not a bad area to live, it's just there's nothing to do there. So she, she did a lot of sports. She did cheerleading from the time she was seven or eight years old. She was definitely not a country person. She's definitely not traditional. <laughs> we had gone to Boston, and I would say she was about 15, and we were just walking around, and she saw the light, like it was very busy, and the shopping, and the stores. She was attracted to the city life. Then it became her senior year. She started running with a different group of people. <laughs> God, how you doing? And Corinna started becoming very defiant. I just noticed drinking. She was smoking marijuana. <laughs> she gets arrested shoplifting. It's just one thing after another thing after another thing. We were starting to butt heads. We were starting to argue a lot, like fighting, constantly fighting. She comes home with that huge tattoo right here. When you get this, please call me back. Thank you. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with you. What are you doing? She's like, I'm moving out. This is the last time you saw her. Yes. She kissed me on my cheek, and she said she loved me, and she left. We begin tonight in Columbia County. The mother of a 19-year-old woman is hoping for answers. Police in New York City are involved in the investigation and believe the young woman may be the victim of human sex trafficking. You don't want to think your daughter's doing anything like that. This is her ads. These pimps had some sort of hold on her. Listen, when she met me, I swear to God, I seen us beautiful Caucasian. I'm not dumb. I said, I'm going to upgrade this girl. She never said it was a pimp. She said a guy. He choked me and he took my money. These pimps and these traffickers know what they're doing. They'll go online and they can check your social media. They see the drug abuse, seductive clothing. I mean, you are a main target. It started off so innocently. I think she was really naive. Anybody could have took her and snatched her and there's no telling what could have happened with her. Sex trafficking is in every city, every state, and every zip code. I had somebody reach out to me that they had Corinna. They wanted $7,500. I did send them money, it just didn't go through. And then the next day, they messaged me, remember this day, this is the day you could have had your child and you will never see her again.